the second NATA exam has just completed yesterday. And in this particular video, we would be talking about how the exam went for our students and basically a brief analysis of that question paper, both session one and session two. The objective is not just to give you an idea of how exactly it went for everyone, but also for all those students who are preparing for NATA 3 that's going to come up in the next month, targeting them also so that you get an idea of what are the things that you should do and most importantly, what are the things that you should not do. Hello everyone, this is Suraj, you are with Think Institute of Design. So for everyone who's not heard of NATA, anyone who is coming up for the first time, basically NATA is an aptitude test for architecture. So basically in India, if you want to get into architecture colleges, there are two exams that you can write. One is JE paper Two BR and the other is NATA. NATA is one of the most important exams, obviously, because it's also conducted by Council of Architecture and the maximum amount of seats that you can get for architecture is via NATA. So there will be three exams usually that they conduct. The second exam for this year has been completed and it is that particular question paper that we will be discussing. Before we move on to how exactly it was for students and uh, what were the learnings about this, what was different, what was new, that we'll cover in the last part, in the last slide of this particular slide. So before that, we would look at some of the questions that they had asked. So as always, I think the most expected part, the maximum amount of questions were expected probably from GK or what's also known as general awareness. So typical questions like flag-related questions, questions based on rivers on Hyderabad, Ayodhya and all were there. But interestingly, there was also a question about uh, the first Indian who went to space, then um, in which country was Kabaddi first held? There was a question on Jammu Kashmir and all. And uh, this year, this, this paper, that is NATA 2, what we find is those huge amount of weightage for architecture awareness. So the importance for architecture awareness is back in its place where it belonged to. Uh, for example, this particular question wherein there were lots of images of buildings that were given and you needed to identify a peculiar type of building, how many of them were there? So it was a numerical answer type question. It was an NAT question. There were a lot of NATs. There were a lot of numerical answer type questions also this time. That means you need to numerically enter the value. The answer, whatever is the answer that you want to give, you had to enter it numerically. So that was one uh, higher amount of weightage that we could find uh, in the type of questions that were being asked. Moving on, <clears throat> These are, I think, typical type of questions like you needed to identify the location of Vijaya Samba or the open hand, very famous work by Lou Kubozier. Or um, there was also identification of ancient uh, styles of architecture, elements, characteristics and all you had to identify. So location, monument based questions and all I think were a lot expected and it has also come up. Skylines, skylines have been there, I think, for the last two or three years in that it has been coming up from. International cities like Sydney to this time we've gone to Mumbai. Then Gold Gomba's section was given and we had to identify which building it was. Then uh, arch, arch, um, types of arches or parts of arches. So such building monuments, such building elements were asked or famous quotes on architects, which architects have told uh, that were asked. The, uh, you always find a lot of image-based questions in NATA. So this time, uh, there were questions on identifying the cartoonist who worked on Snoopy the dog, then painting, paintings of uh, adoration of Maggie. Movie-based questions is something that has again come up. So mostly it is like they're showing an image and you have to identify the movie, which is based on that. So that was there in NATA 1. I think that's also there in NATA 2. So in both the NATAs this year, uh, it has come up. Logo-based questions has been there for a long time. So this time also they have asked logo based question. Again, a movie based question based on Lagan, logo of IM uh, Calicut, then um, sale logo, um, identification of ancient uh, works that are done, craft works that are done. So such kind of questions were there. So architecture awareness, this time what we understand is it had good amount of huge amount of weightage in terms of number, number of questions and also marks. Then English language questions were there. There was comprehension, comprehension based on Mahatma Gandhi and uh, Charlie Chaplin. Very interestingly, there were poems that were being asked, poems and questions based on that. So that was a new entrant in um, the English language. Then filling with the appropriate words, finding out which was the wrongly spelled word. So these are all typical questions that uh, is usually asked. Okay. Now, uh, before we move on to the next section, if you want to have any further clarity on that, or if you want to know about, uh, let's say, if you want to get the free uh, 
mock test about NATA, which we conduct if you want that, or let's say, for example, you want the NATA first question paper, you can contact us at this number, 8086111933. Now, we're moving to the next part of the questions. So we have completed ARC awareness and uh, English and GK. Uh, for taking you through the observation type of questions, we have our academic head, Sachin sir, who was joined with us. So I'll be handing over this to Sachin sir. Sachin sir, am I audible? Uh, yes, sir. You are clearly audible. Am I clearly audible to you? Yes, your voice is good. Okay, great. Uh, so hi, everyone. Good evening. So hope uh, the second NATA session went well for everyone. So uh, as a part of the question paper analysis, so now I will continue this particular section. So uh, Suresh sir elaborately explained other topics like GK, architectural awareness and language section. And uh, uh, already you know, observation type of question is one of the uh, important sections of NATA examination. So uh, it carries a, a, a huge num number of marks for the NATA examination. So this time also, there was observation type of question and one peculiarity of these kind of observation question is they never mention in the optional notification. So those who were not aware of the observation type of question will be a surprise one because they will never mention uh, there is a question called observation type of question. So basically it is a uh, question in which there will be an uh, image will be visible and uh, you need to analyze or observe that particular question for 45 seconds and based on that image, two questions will be there. So this time also the observation type of questions were there. And uh, every time it will be five set of questions, each carries uh, two questions and uh, three marks. So around 30 marks were there for the observation type of question. So here uh, there was a children playing in a park image was given. And based on that image, there were two questions and one was cloaks and digital. There were cloaks, cloaks were given, digital and analog. And there were a question based on that and a crowded train. And based on that particular image, there were two questions also. So, uh, so we will move on to the next section and uh, quantitative and reasoning. So one of the uh, major weight carrying section for the NATA examination and uh, from the review from our students, what we have got, there were uh, the number of questions from the quantitative and reasoning were uh, high, little bit high on this time. And basically in this particular section from the mensuration type of questions, there were extra kind of questions. We can see there were questions based on cylinder or uh, cube or basically like uh, area, volume, or perimeter, so such kind of questions. We can see that where uh, right in front of you in this particular slide itself, we can see around uh, three questions. And there were questions from number or number series, there were probability and set related questions. And there were, uh, like I mentioned, number series, number related questions were there. Basically, uh, these were the kind of questions uh, we have been expecting also because. Uh, these kind of topics were repeatedly asked for the NATA examination in the past year as also and the last section one examination. So let's move on to the next one. So another important section is the design awareness, the design theory part. So definitely we can expect like color theory questions or principle of composing questions in this particular section because uh, after they remove the drawing section uh, as a part of that drawing theory or the design theory, they have been repeatedly asking questions from uh, color theory or principle of composition kind of question. So here also you can see uh, there were questions from the uh, color theory or design awareness part. So which are the best color combinations by food chains to attract customers and about the split complementary colors and what is a color wheel. So such kind of questions were there for this uh, NATA session too. So let's move on to the next one. So logical reasoning, another important section. And uh, uh, I think uh, uh, when there was a pattern change in the NATA examination, they in the initial years there were puzzles kind of questions uh, were there. So I think in the first session we haven't seen such kind of puzzle related question, but this time we have seen such kind of questions. They have been reintroducing that kind of questions in the NATA examination, the puzzles kind, and uh, we have been expecting the projections or the view kind of question. They will give a 3D object. We need to find whether. Uh, it's top view or front view or side view, if we need to find it. So such kind of question is a regular question in the NATA examination. So this time there were questions and like I mentioned, there were puzzles related questions. And another important section was physics. And there were questions, I think in the notification itself, they have been mentioning about the physics section. It is not like the plus one plus two oriented one, the basic physics or 10th level or general physics has been asked. So uh, that's from the physics side. So I think the next part of the section will be handled by Suraj sir and uh, sir.
been changed. So one thing that we find is that relatively compared to the first NATA that was conducted earlier, uh, it seems to be that this was relatively easier. NATA 2 was relatively easier. Uh, there were some students who were told that there were some technical issues that they had faced. Um, some of the cases were in the, they were either getting logged out or uh, similar technical issues for the computer-based examination. And again, compared to JE paper two, so every time they had to, you know, save the answers, they had, the interface was not that user friendly. That these were the technical related issues that they had faced. As I said earlier, there was more focus on architecture. So if you are somebody who is focusing on NATA and NATA three is what you're targeting, definitely looking into a lot of architecture based questions would be really helpful. Uh, be it location monument based questions or um, architectural terms based questions, elements, ancient architecture types, identification of these terms and identification of these monuments, it will be very good. Uh, the amount of importance is given to design based questions have decreased and architecture based questions have increased. Numerical answer type questions seems to be higher in number. That means higher number of questions you have to answer with the help of the keypad or uh, the keyboard. Uh, and principle of composition questions were also there. They, they were a bit more tougher compared to NATA 1. Uh, menstruation questions were there higher in number. And as uh, Sachin said, uh, puzzles or riddles that we see as forward messages and also, they've come back this time. So quite interesting questions have come back uh, from NATA 2 onwards. So you might see a glimpse of that in NATA three also. Uh, a lot of students were expecting huge number of GK questions, but you don't get to see a lot of GK questions in that. So uh, that was something that you can tone down a bit. And uh, yes, there were physics questions. Physics questions uh, have been coming for the last couple of years. Then um, movie-based questions, there were MSQ type questions also. There was also logical-based questions. And observation as expected, this is how it usually happens. There will be 10 uh, questions and uh, 30 marks. So it has huge amount of weightage. So these would be the points that you would like to keep in mind when uh, you're preparing for NATA 3, or if there is anyone who's preparing for the future NATA examinations. Uh, so just before ending, uh, Sachin said, is there anything that you would like to add or is that it? Uh, nothing in particular. So I guess in general, uh, from our student review, what we have got is comparing to the session one. Uh, the session two was a bit more easier. So I hope uh, this particular session uh, they will go really well in the session too because it's really important. So uh, there is also I think this review also help uh, for those students uh, who work on the NATA session three also the upcoming examination. So I think that's it from my side. So yeah. Okay. So I guess that's it. There aren't any more unanswered questions. I think most of the questions um, also we have tried to cover up all of the questions. If you still have questions, you can contact at these numbers. We have our new batches that are starting tomorrow from the 5th of June for NATA 3. It's a purely online batch. So anyone from anywhere with an internet connection can come and join. If you want to know further details, you can either ping us at Instagram or you can use these numbers and contact us 8086114 or 8086110444. So until we see in the next session, thank you everyone. We hope all of you at NATA exams went really well. And to everyone who is preparing for NATA 3, all the best from our side. Thank you everyone. Thank you host.